Tyson Fury versus Deontay Wilder. The most anticipated rematch since Anthony Joshua, Andy Ruiz. It's a huge, huge fight. We've got the flashy boxer, very elusive, Tyson Fury versus the one punch knockout artist in Deontay Wilder. It's gonna be a great fight and I'm about to break it down for you right now. I wanna start off by saying I've got a great relationship with both of these boys. Tyson Fury, we were on the England boxing team together and I have knew him for, for years and years. And then Deontay Wilder, we competed in the same Olympic Games. He was a weight above me. We both won a bronze medal in Beijing in 2008. And he was in this gym uh, about a year ago from today. We were training together, I had him on the mitts. And yeah, we've got a great relationship as well. So who do I want to win? Honestly, I don't care. I'm just excited for this great fight. Who do I think will win? Well, I think it depends on a few things. The most important thing is preparation. Who prepared the best? I know Tyson Fury has been a big, is a big celebrity now. He's been doing lots of TV and appearances, the WWE. He's been doing so much in the media. With that being said, I really don't think that's gonna affect him in his preparation. He's a fighting man. Fighting comes first in his life and he'll be super dedicated for this fight because he knows if he wins this fight, it's going to really skyrocket his career even more and he'll be one of the biggest names in boxing, if not the biggest name in boxing around the world today. And now, Deontay Wilder, he's another fighting man, a real, real fighting man. He'll fight anyone. We can see from his last fight, he fought Luis Ortiz. He didn't need to take that fight. That was the hardest fight in his career. I thought it was a bad idea. He went in there, he fought him, and then we all seen what happened. He knocked him out with that right hand straight in the middle of the head, which is probably one of the hardest places to hit someone and knock them out right in the forehead. And he did that, and that just shows his power, his one-punch power, knocking out someone as experienced as Luis Ortiz, who's been fighting since he was six years old, who's had hundreds and hundreds of fights and who's never been knocked out before. So we've got the American versus the Brit. We've got the Bronze Bomber versus the Gypsy King. Who's going to win and how can they win? Well, Tyson Fury knows all about Wilder's power. We seen in that first fight, Fury just got up off the canvas. I don't know how he got up, but he got up off the canvas. We, everyone thought the fight would have been over. Jack Reese, the referee, take my hat off to him because a lot of referees would have probably stopped that fight right then and there. So Fury respects Wilder's power in Wilder's right hand. And I think for the full fight now, Fury's just going to be wary of that right hand. And when you're wary of a punch, it's much harder to get hit by that punch because you're thinking about it all the time. And I think for the full 12 rounds, Fury's going to be thinking about that right hand, that big bombing right hand. And the more he thinks about it, the harder it's going to be for him to get caught with it. With heavyweights, anything can happen. Even though Fury has not got a massive knockout ratio, especially compared to Deontay Wilder, he's definitely got the power to knock Wilder out. And we've seen it in the past, Fury's knocked out quite a few of his opponents, so he can definitely do it to Wilder. And the way he's think I think he's going to do that is by doing what he did in the first fight. Or the way he can do that is by doing what he did in the first fight, which is moving. Lots of moving, lots of moving, lots of fainting. I love the way Fury was fainting all the time. Fainting, keeping Wilder thinking. Wilder didn't know what was going to come because Fury was fainting all the time. I think if Fury's doing that, avoiding that right hand for the full fight, Wilder's going to start getting behind on points. He's going to start taking more risks and, and rushing in. And then when he rushes in, that's when Fury can land at them big punches. And that's when Wilder will be in danger. When he's behind on points, not being able to land the right hand, throwing silly punches, taking lots of risks. Uh, and, and that's the way that I think Tyson Fury can win. Now, how can Deontay win? Well, I think Deontay, if he's smart enough, which I think he is, and I think his team is, he's going to know that Fury's going to be trying to do what I just told, said, which is avoiding that right hand for the full fight. Fury's not going to come forward and start trying to have a fight with Wilder. That would be, that would be silly. He's going to have to move back and outbox him, use his, that long reach that he's got, use that great jab, use them feints. Wilder's going to know that. So what, what Wilder's got to do, he's got to try and draw the lead and counter. So how does he draw the lead? He's got, he's got to try and feint as well. Get Fury to throw that jab, and as he's thrown it, come over the top with that big right hand, or come in, or, or step in with that one-two that he'd done against Ortiz. For Wilder, he's got to keep feinting, throw them long jabs, keep, keep it at range. Not try and knock him out with every single punch like we've seen Wilder do in the past. You no, know, I think, try and get Fury to 
commit with these punches and then counter them punches. Definitely go forward and go forward using the feints, trying to get Fury to throw that jab. Come over and counter, counter them punches. And with Wilder, he can end the fight in the first round to the last second in the last round. And he knows that. But I don't think that he wants to rely on that for the full fight. I think he's going to have to try and get some rounds in the bank. And by doing that is by countering. And when he gets inside against Fury, he's got to work. Last time, there wasn't that much work when they were inside. I think this time, when he gets inside, he's got to throw them punches and work and try and frustrate Fury there. You know, I, I, wouldn't even, I wouldn't be surprised if Wilder even tries to do some dirty tactics to try and frustrate Fury. I think that would be smart as well to try and get under Fury's skin and frustrate him. Which With Fury, he's got that experience. Chances are he'll not get frustrated. But if he does get frustrated, that is when Wilder can land them big damaging punches. So again, I think it's a 50-50 fight. If I had to put my house on it, I had to put my car on it, I would have to pick Tyson Fury to win on points because of him being fully aware of the damage that Fury, what Wilder can do with that right hand. And like I said, when you're in the ring with someone and you're trying to avoid one punch, it's so hard for that person to hit you because you expect it all the time. I hope you enjoyed this breakdown, my first ever fighting breakdown. If you've got any questions, if you've got any agreements or disagreements, leave them in the comments below. Please subscribe to this channel. I'm gonna try and do more and more of these videos. If there's someone that you want me to break down, a fight you want me to break down, a punch, a fighter, whatever it is, leave them in the comments below. And I will, re I will respond to you. And as well, I will try and make them videos. Thank you for watching.